Blessings, blessings, blessings. This is Winston Bennett on this, uh, what, 13th day of December, another day closer uh, to the celebration of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, presumably that date of, of uh, December the 25th being used as the date of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. No more important day than that right there. If you're going to compare it to something, you have to compare it to his crucifixion and, and resurrection when he died, when he rose again with all power. You know, we usually celebrate that Easter, you know, in April. You know what I'm saying? Two of the most important dates, the most important dates in all the land. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I had a conversation with an individual on the other day an individual that was really kind of depressed over where they come from, who they come from, who their mother was, who their father was, you know, just very depressed about that and wanted to be a voice of encouragement to all you that are out there that may be suffering through the same depression and oppression, concerned about who birthed you into this world and how you were birthed in this world. Some of us were birthed in this world and we call it a mistake because of the pregnancy was not planned and we say that that was a mistake. Some of us came from a person who was living out on the street, living away with life, living as a prostitute, giving up their body, and we were birthed out of that situation. Some of us were birthed, my God, behind jail cell walls, my God, and we think and look and say, well, my mother was this or my mother was that. You know, some of us don't even know who our father was. But I got good news for you this morning. If you don't know who your father was, if you're not accepting of your mother, maybe you're accepting of this. The Lord Jesus Christ allowed it to come down the way it came down. No, he's not one that loves sin, but he loves the sinner. My God, if you gay, he loves you. If he, if you straight, he loves you. My God, God loves all people. Now, he don't like the sin that we involve ourselves in. But he does like his people. My God, my God. Yeah. So come out of that oppression and depression because you know what? We got to show all people love. I don't care if you Jew or Gentile. We ought to show love. My God, I don't care if you're white or black. We ought to show love. I don't care if you gay or straight. We ought to show love because God loves everybody. You hear what I'm saying? And if he loves, why do we have such a hard time loving? My God, my God. And we are to reflect reflect him. My God, that's the only reason why we're here is to be a reflector of God's grace, his mercy, his love, his kindness. My God, I said this the other day, right now for many years we've had on our money the United States of America. That word united, that means connected. We got some chemistry. My God, we got some love amongst each other. Well, maybe whoever uh, uh, made the currency was speaking in faith because at no time in the history of the United States has it been united. It's always been frayed. It's always been fractured. People who couldn't get along because of skin color. Uh, people who get, couldn't get along because of their economic uh, separation between the rich and the poor. My God. But it's time for us to come together in love because God is love. And if we are to survive as a nation, as a people, it's going to take love to do it. My God, my God. That's all a prelude, my God, to Psalms 149. <laughs> so let's go to Psalms 149, man. Let's see what the psalmist has to tell us right here, the Psalter. Oh God, oh God. Psalms 149 reads like this, praise the Lord. Oh God, sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the godly. My God, let Israel be glad uh, in his maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, making melody to him with timbrel and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. My God, he adorns the humble with salvation. Let the godly exalt in glory. Let him sing for joy on their beds. 
My God, let the high praises of God be in their throats and two-edged swords in their hands to exalt vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains, my God, and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute on them judgment written, this is honor for all his godly ones, praise the Lord. All right, let's extract here. Let's take out the pearls that God has for us. It starts with praise the Lord. Everything that's in alignment with God praises the Lord. We talked about yesterday, the moon praises him, the sun praises him, the animals praise him. It's man and woman that's been given choice that has the ability not to choose to praise him if he or she wants, but the animals don't have a choice. The moon and the stars don't have a choice. They're built to praise him. Oh God, we as people are built to praise him, but we've been bamboozled to think that we are to praise cars. We are to praise homes. We are to praise, my God, this money, this fiat currency called the dollar, my God. So we given our lives for the dollar and giving praise to the dollar when the dollar can't save us. My God, my God. Praise goes to Yahweh, the almighty God, to Jehovah, my God, God with us, my God. God, my God. Sing to the Lord a new song. Scholars says that saying to the Lord a new song has nothing to do with composition or the melody of music. It's a changing of the heart, a changing of the mind. Sing a new song. Make a change from where you are to where you want to be. Make a change. Get off the fence. If you in sin, let's come over. And let's get sanctified. Let's get baptized in Jesus' name. Let's get filled with the Holy Ghost so that we can walk in the newness of life. Don't mean you're not going to have problems. Don't mean you're not going to have situations. You will. My God, anytime you come over from the enemy side to God's side, there's going to be potholes. There's going to be uh, uh, situations that have to be rectified. But you know what? God is the God of rectification. God is the God that smooths streets and roads when there's potholes and ditches and whatnot. He can fill them in. Oh, God, and you won't know that there was ever a hole there. My God, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Verse 2 says, let Israel be glad in its maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. What is this referring to, Winston? Okay, let me tell you. Let the children of Israel be glad in its maker. That's talking about when the children of Israel were delivered out of Egypt, they came out you know, being glad and praising their maker Yahweh and giving him praise and giving him glory. They came out with timbrel and dance. Why? Because they were so uh, uh, thankful that God delivered them from the hand of that dastardly Pharaoh that was causing them to build brick without straw and to build that Egyptian kingdom. Yet God delivered them. My God, my God. So he said, let them praise his name with dancing in verse three, making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. Oh God, so we are to act because God, in semblance of coming out of Egypt, we as sinners, that's our Egypt, have come out of sin. So we are to praise him with timbrel and dance, with the lyre. We are to give him praise for delivering us uh, 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 from the uh, cocaine and, 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 and from the LSD and from, my God, from beds that we wasn't supposed to be in. He delivered us, my God. So we ought to praise him for that. You don't hear what I'm saying. Verse 2 says, for the Lord takes pleasure in people. He adorns the humble with salvation. That word salvation means to save. He adorns us with his saving power. My God, he don't leave us out there without a raft. He throws a life raft that says, look, I died on the cross for you. I shed my innocent blood for you. You are safe. Come on in here. My God, my God. Verse five says, let the godly exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their beds. So on their beds, meaning it's metaphorical. It may not be a literal bed, but it was saying in private, my God. And some say it was a bed or it was a couch that they prayed on, uh, that they went to God on, on their face, on their bed. My God. So the verse says, look at what it says. My God, let the God exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their bed. 
heads. So wherever you find yourself, let's exalt him. Let's give him praise, glory, and honor. On our bed, let's praise him. On our couch, let's praise him. On our floor, let's praise him. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all those that may listen to this live stream, that they would be encouraged to praise you today, not to give up on themselves, but definitely not to give up on God who can bring them out of anything. Lord, put a praise on our lips, a, 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 a worship in our heart to give it to you all day, every day in Jesus name. Amen. Hey, y'all, y'all be blessed today, man. Walk in the power of his resurrection. Okay. In Jesus name. Peace.